Tonight, on another interview with an interesting person, part two of Ozeg Bizzlebluff, with your host Kevin Shane, Larry the Band, and me, Sexy Hermit. Kevin Shane, this is Oleg again. Yeah! What's <laughs> nice going on, man? <laughs> nice to see you, too. This is part two. Now, we're, we can't talk about any music whatsoever, because the first one was just all pure music, right? Yeah. So, I got a question. Yes. Okay, you're from Rostov-on-Don. Yes. On the Don River. Yes. Right? In southern Russia, dude. Tell me about Russian. You know, like, any, you know any Russian mafia guys or anything like that? Uh, yeah, we are, we're I all, am the Russian mafia. You the are? Of, <laughs> of course you are. Whoa. He's well, the, the violinist now. You're the Russian violinist mafia. You can't guy. make money with the violinist. You can't make money with the violinist, yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah. Unless you're a mafia, then you yeah. can. Then you can, because you carry guns in your you violin You can just case. force people to pay. <laughs> right. Hey, pay me, or I don't know what I'll do, but uh, right. we'll do some. <laughs> we'll do. Now, I got a question. If you're from yes. southern Russia, or that area where you're from, is your accent different than, like, for example, of Moscow? Can you tell kind of like there's people from, yes, you know, like down south down here that kind of talk like, you know? Yes, yes, yes. So, for example, Rostov on Don, most of the people, Russian people, they say a lot of ha, ha, and uh -huh. ha, this style. Yeah. Like in Moscow, for example, they would just say ge. Ge. And then what in, is that in like? our region, what, yeah. what's it's because of the Cossacks, basically. Oh, you know, the this, Cossacks, yeah. yeah. yeah this this region is is greatly influenced by Ukrainian culture. Right. Yes. So by 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 Cossacks. And, well, and what's that's, the that's difference the with Ukrainian culture that you're influenced yeah. by and like the northern Russians? What's the culture? Tell me about the culture. Well, you know, it's it's very interesting because it's very diverse. So for, yep. I, I didn't travel that far east to, to Russia because it, it, it goes forever. Right, <laughs> yeah, it's it huge, goes huge, yeah. So I, I think I stopped somewhere in the city of Magnitogorsk, which is before Ural Mountains. So I didn't even go to Siberia. It's mm -hmm. funny. And I consider myself Russia. I, I don't know my own country. But um, when we traveled that far, we noticed people who live there. Yeah. They have their own language, their own culture. Yep. They look different. And I would never, I would never thought that they're Russians too. Really? Because they're very different people. So Russia is, it's, it's a very multi, multicultural, multinational right. country. And in this regard, it's close to the United States. But if United States, you, for example, can see in one block, Mexican guys, uh, yep. people from Zimbabwe, Russians and, and Native Americans, just Americans, you know, all these people, African Americans. Living in one block in Russia, it's not like this. It's more, mostly by region. Right. So, like, like I said, so one group of people in one your of, area. Yeah, yeah. So in order to meet other yeah. people, you just have to go 500 miles. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of wilderness because there's nothing in there probably. Yeah. Just now, city. You and, came to the states what 2010? Yes. Tell us, you know, the thing Americans love about the the guy who's running Russia, Putin is he likes to go shirtless all the time. <laughs> right. You know, we never have presidents who take their shirt off. That's like a no-no in America. Right. Right. But in Russia, no problem, man. Take your shirt off. Yeah, it's, it's too cold in Russia. That's why. Right, yeah. You don't need a shirt mm -hmm. in, a, in a cold climate. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fine. Yeah. And, and his skin is tough. Is it? Yeah. I think it's tough. I, I never... It must be. I never hate him, but... I yeah. would. <laughs> Just to test it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, pinch him and see if I know. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Gently. Well, I don't want to get too much into world events, but, you know, tell me about uh, your thoughts about all this fun, like, American, Russia kind of fun stuff that's going on in the media. My favorite song, especially for the past four years, Yeah. it's Wind of Changes. Wind of Changes. Yeah. Yeah. Just because... Wait, we're talking about music now! Okay, oh, shit. Okay, okay. No, it's, it's, it's poetry. <laughs> oh, it's poetry. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm talking about lyrics. Because okay. there, when, when they say that we're going to be, like, again, like brothers. Yeah. And they're talking about... Well, it's actually a German 
band, mm -hmm. I know that, but somehow it's because they sing it in English, I associate it with America, and that's what I want for these two cultures to, to be, always. Now the winds of change, who is that, uh, what, what band is that? Larry, do it's you know? Scorpions. Scorpions, Scorpions. yeah, that's right, German Scorpions. band. Yeah, the winds yeah, of change. Is, but I mean, I mean, for me, it's this manifestation of how the relationship, I think, right. I hope, and I, I have like a strong faith, should become. Of because course. because to me when I came I've been before I came to United States I've been to a lot of European countries mm -hmm. and I never never felt as comfortable compared to when I when I got here. Oh, I think really? American people are very very um, curious about other cultures, very accepting and, and good people, just in general. Mm -hmm. they, they just meet you with open arms. And that's, wh that's how I felt here. Even, you know, considering all the cultural shocks and everything and missing my family and friends, yep. I felt myself like home and I still do. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, Russia is it's, it's similar in this regard. We also mm -hmm. have a very wide soul, you know, we, wide, we, we like to welcome different cultures and people in, in our country. Mm -hmm. Just because it's, again, big country, many cultures, many nationalities live there, and we do tolerate, not only tolerate, but love it one another. Yeah. So, so sometimes when, when I think about what's happening right now in the world between our you know countries, <laughs> yeah. I don't think that it's between the people. I think it's between some people, but not all the people. <laughs> right, right, of course. <laughs> Russia, you know, that's the thing. My, uh, my girlfriend, she works at the... Uh, you know, nuclear accelerator on, on Michigan State University's campus. Oh, there's always important. fun Russians because they're all, you know, there's a lot of physicists right, and right. Uh, Ukrainians and stuff like that. Right. Nicest people. Yeah. And yeah, so I think I think Americans, you know, and Russians mesh very well. Like I think say. so. I think so. You think yes. it's just Midwesterners because, you know, maybe New Yorkers aren't the same way? I don't know. Well, I didn't leave in New York. I've, I've been there like five times. Okay. Um, yep. So to me, I think... Well, you're in the mafia, so you got to go to New York every once in a while. That's kind of like, right. you know... That's true. Yeah, yeah. sometimes just, just right. to deliver things. And <laughs> 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 no, but actually, um, but actually, I think here in Michigan or somewhere in West Virginia, for example, or in Alabama, sometimes to me, it feels more like America than New York. Because mm -hmm. I think in New York, there are a lot of foreigners, yeah, that's, a yep. lot of tourists. Yep. And sometimes it's actually hard to find a person on the street who would speak a good English there. Oh, really? So I understand that New York has a cultural aspect that's very American. But again, it's, it's very unique. For, right. for this area. Much like London or right. you know, London is the same right. way. If right. you meet somebody from London, it'll be crazy. Absolutely. Yep. Yes. So I think I think Michigan as as American as as, as it gets to me. Mm -hmm. Now if you travel to Pennsylvania or go to Idaho or you know, for example Arizona, I've never been there, I wanna go yeah. <clears throat> Grand Canyon stuff. Maybe you, you meet different people there. But I think all all American people have something in common. They have this r real aspiration to help one another to hear one another to understand it and, and to but really what's the weirdest cultural shock you had when you came to america, america it, you're popcorn. like why would these people do this popcorn popcorn really yes <laughs> we went to the movie night with my wife and and um the popcorn and we ordered popcorn and it was salty Ooh, salty yeah. Salty popcorn. Well, yeah, and we yeah, were shocked yeah. it was it was a, it was a great like, shock because in a, in russia at that time all popcorn was only sweet Really? Super sweet, super sweet, yeah. Oh. And we got this one, salty one, and we were like, what are we gonna do? So luckily we found this caramel thing and we just kind of, kind of you know, <laughs> tried to get <laughs> really, of the what salt is in it. The... What is this nasty yeah. popcorn? <laughs> Another thing, broccoli. Broccoli? What's up with it? I love broccoli. Here it's fresh. Know. In Russia it's frozen. Oh, so really? when okay. I went to the grocery store for the first time, I was looking for the frozen broccoli. Believe it or not, because I couldn't trust the fresh one. And this is weird. I need I need frozen one. <laughs> that happened. That happened. So fresh like this, broccoli, you know. man. Fresh broccoli. <laughs> yeah. Well, great, Oleg. Thanks for coming on this show, Absolutely. man. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Man. We that have Oleg Bezoglov. Did I get it right? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool, man. All right, brother. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks for being on the show. <laughs>